Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to make eyeballs. So first you'll need these acrylic spheres, they're kind of the base material for all of this. I'm also using this epoxy, which is basically a two part resin. I'll be using it as a layer to glue the pupil onto, which the pupil is going to be a printed part. Since I don't have much stuff to work with, I'm just going to be using a cap to mix these things together since I don't need much, and I'll be mixing it inside this little container I have. While doing this, I encourage wearing gloves because it is not good for your skin. I just didn't have any on hand. So here I'm eyeballing how much resin I'm pouring into the pupils. I don't want to be too big, probably about an inch. I set them to dry for about two days, and here they are, they're back again. They came out a bit bubbly, but you can prevent that if you mix it a bit better. Uh, here are the prints for the eyes, I'll be providing these in the description for y'all the printies. So I print a bunch of different sizes and I was just trying out to see which one fit the best. And eventually I found the one, so I just started cutting both of them out. To attach them I just use a glue stick I had around. You don't want to go too crazy with the glue though because then you'll start seeing stains on the actual pupil. As you can see, I'm using some Flex Bond from Cosplay Cosplay Supplies to seal the pupils in there. Now here's the fun part. Here's where I'm starting to put my second layer of white on everything. Usually I put around five layers just so it covers all the clear parts. Try not to cover the actual pupil though. That's why I covered it in Flex Bond so it wouldn't get that much exposure to the paint. If the paint does get in contact with the print, it may cause it to mess up a little bit, which doesn't look very good. So here you can see me putting my first layer of black. I put about five layers to cover all the white spots. I do this so whenever I put a light in there, it doesn't shine through the white and it just shines through the pupil. So after drying, here's what they look like. I had a small little error on one of the eyes with the white paint getting into the pupil, but it's all right. So if you want to go the extra level, you can get some cheap LEDs, these are just Christmas lights I found. You can get those and then put them behind the actual pupil and it will light up like this. I plan to use these eyes for an animatronic eye mechanism I'm going to make a video on pretty soon. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.